having recently um, learned my wife has a brain tumor, um, we've had the opportunity to really be embraced by our small group um, in a way that you really don't um, expect or hope to anticipate because you're, you know, it's, it's a bad circumstance, but um, the littlest things from food to even a couple of guys came by and mowed my yard today. So they reach out and touch you in ways and, and I kind of look at it, the, the community at large is really good at, at reaching out and helping, but your home group uh, does triage. They kind of land on you in that immediate moment and they kind of divide and conquer and carry you through the process so you can kind of get your wits about you and what's going on. And that's where we are now is we've, we've, we've gone through kind of the shock and off aspect of it and the home group has enabled us to get through that. And so now we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and we're able to plan and, and the group's still there and doing a tremendous amount of stuff to support us. But um, they, they kind of, they don't carry you, they drag you through the hard stuff sometimes and uh, that's what you need. That's what the home group, and that's what it's done for us. You know, we've, we've done the go to home group and done the social and done the fellowship and helped out and done the, the trips, but we've never had a, uh, uh, a personal need like that or never reached like that and this is this is you know the giving without the asking and all that and you know we've done our part in the past before and we've enjoyed it but you never expect to be on the receiving end of it and so it's very um, it's kind of like the benefits of your insurance policy you don't really know what your benefits are until you need them and the benefits of home group really uh, became very clear this instance in our lives. So.